Okay, so I'm really excited about this next speaker. Okay, she has a little bit of experience with communism firsthand. Uh, she's from the Ukraine, um, and she's going to discuss a little bit of her life experience. Her name is uh, Amy Salam. Thank you. Hi, I came from Ukraine, and you know we have communist country there. And uh, it was no easy. It remind me big lines everywhere. People just uh, don't like each other, uh, blaming. And when you come, your line come to uh, to buy uh, bread or milk. It's no milk, no bread. And you stay hours in the line. And looks like we have big lines right now here. Uh, but another thing, what about the communist country? It's my. Um, you cannot talk about God anywhere. And you couldn't have a Bible in your house. And my, was, my father was a pastor, small church, and one day they came over and looking for a Bible, and he prayed that God close their eyes, they shouldn't see the Bible. And they couldn't see the Bible, and they checking everywhere, eight hours checking everywhere, where I can find any piece of paper talking about God. Yes. But anyway, any, they found about God, and they put him in prison for nine years. He was in prison, and he um, talking about God there, and he uh, built a church in a prison, and then when came the freedom, it was the people who in prison become Christians. But anyway, but he said, I don't want to be a communist country. He said, let's go in a country where there is no communist. So we came here. Yes. But can you believe in free country, when we can talk about God anywhere, now it's communists coming here. Let's don't let any communists come in America. Let's close the door. Because we want freedom. We won't talk about God. We won't pray. We won't do for God and preach the gospel everywhere. And we speak in the name of Jesus. Communists, you cannot come here in America. We close door for you. We speak angels with sword stain around America and around words and no communists can come. I tell you, communists, it's a devil. Amen. Amen to that. God bless America.